right, Kelly, we're back with John Barefoot from Kindred Spirit. Thank well, you again for having us here. Thank place you. This is amazing. We love it here. We love the beer. Um, and we want to learn more about it. So yeah. tell us a little bit about the origin story, John, of Kindred Spirit. Where did it come from? Why did you guys start the brewery? Um, we get that question a lot. Mm. Um, and really, it all started with tennis. I know that sounds weird. But, Most things uh, do start with tennis. I think. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> three guys that played tennis together said, hey, let's start a brewery. And from there, the rest is history. That was almost eight years ago today. That is And awesome. why the brand Kindred Spirit? Honestly, it just was because we were reading a magazine article and we saw Kindred Spirit in there and we're like, that's a good name for a brewery. Lo and behold, that's how Kindred Spirit started. That's amazing. Right. How do you think about the experience you want people to have here? How do yeah. you want them to feel when they're at Kindred Spirit? It's a good question because we always talk about that. You know, when, when y'all were talking about branding and jingles and all that stuff earlier, couldn't help but think about our branding and how we've been going through changes over the past few years. As most, you know, breweries around here, you'll see rebranding or redoing websites. And um, it's funny, we had some one of our customers come in and say, hey, you know what, I'd like to help you with your website. I think it, it's not quite branded right. I think it could be a lot more, you know, focused on the consumers and stuff like that. And I said, okay, well, I don't really get it because pretty much says we're about beer and people. And that's really what we're all about is beer and people. He said, yeah, but everybody says that, you know, that's, there's nothing special there. So funny enough, he comes in and sits down with us and we start talking about, you know, the brand and it overlaps. We, we're talking for a couple hours and it overlaps into opening time. And all of a sudden a bunch of regulars come in and, and, I was like, you know what? Let's just ask them. You know, they. That's great. You're asking. You're asking That's what our customers. Research. Yeah. So research. market research right there. So we had about six different regulars come in, and every time I'd ask them, so why do you come here? You know, and they were like, the beer. Yeah. Okay. Well, what else? You know, yeah. the people. You know, so they're like, we really like the people, and it was so funny that this one guy, John, comes in, and we're like, what do you like? He's like. The beer, the people were like, yeah, what else? He's like, well, it's kind of like being at Cheers, you know, like everybody knows your name and stuff like that. And so uh, he walks on up, gets his beer, and the next person walks in. We said the same thing. Why do you come in here? And he's like, the beer, the people, it's like Cheers. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. I think right. you got and it. And so the guy, said, the guy's sitting here going, okay, you win, you know. <laughs> so now I'm an engineer, so I don't, you know, my writing skills are not exactly the best. And this guy's an English major, so he's... He certainly has been working on tweaking the, the language that is there to make it sound you know, more of what we're about and, and more concise, but he's still staying with the beer and people part of it. Beer and people, that's good. Two that's, of our favorite things. That's right, <laughs> beer and people. Now, yeah. where, uh, where can our friends find Kindred Spirit? Where are wow, you? Um, so we are in about 1,500 locations. Wow, that's um, great. Yep, and you can find it in most grocery stores around Richmond, also in Northern Virginia, Virginia Beach, and a good portion of the restaurants around the Richmond area. That's really That's great. Terrific. Is that the Headspace IPA? Is that the main one? Uh, we distribute about 15 beers a year. That's um, So Headspace is certainly the most popular one, yeah. but there are other 14 other beers that are out in the market each year. That's really That's cool. That's fantastic. And where's the tasting room? The tasting room's on West Creek Parkway, so that's where we're standing right now, and it's right off 288. And that's one of the things that's special about our location is that, you know, we're not downtown. We're not, we're kind of in the suburbs. And, and even though we're technically Richmond address when it comes to your, the address, you know, we get our mail to, we're actually in Goochland County. Um, we were one of the early breweries in the city. And right next door to us is Partywood down the street. And we have Licking Hole. Those are the other two Goochland breweries that are in the area. Terrific. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, well, it is. John, thank you for having us. The beer's great. Thank you that for the beer. Is it terrific. is great. The, the taste is going to move you. Uh, that's how good this beer is. <laughs> Thank like, you. Uh, 